This is Surah 55, verse number 33. And here we see Allah is making us a challenge, and this is challenge proving to be wrong. He is saying, you assembly of jinns and men, the genie and the men, if it be you can pass beyond the zone of the heavens and earth, the zone of the heaven and earth, pass ye not without authority, shall you able to pass. Now what does that mean? It means God of Islam, Allah is a challenge in the human and the genie to pass out of the earth, the zone of the earth and the, uh, and the zone of the sky. Which means you cannot leave the, sky, the earth, you cannot go out of the earth, and you cannot go out of the sky without my permission. Now do God give a permission? No, God don't give a permission. According to this, the permission in here, what, what the permission mean? Permission mean only in the judgment day, in the resurrection day, when people Allah decide to take them to heaven, you will pass it through. Because as we said, heaven is in the sky. So the authority in here mean not the American going to the moon by authority of Allah because everybody knows that Allah will never allow the American to go there. Like it's funny that Allah is giving authority to everybody to pass, to pass through the, the, the zone of the earth and the zone of, of the sky, but not the Muslims. Muslims, they go there, they're, they're, they're in their chair, you know, as they are doing with the Russian and the American, etc. But until now, they could not go out of the zone of the earth. So in here, Allah is saying, you will have authority only in the judgment day. And by the way, I'm not explaining. We can go to Ibn Kathir, we can go to Al-Qurtubi, and we will see all of them agreeing with me that this is, is the case. No one is going to go there <coughs> except by authority by Allah in the judgment day. In the judgment day. Then people will go either to hell or they will go to heaven so it's not talking about authority for 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 now the authority will happen only in the judgment day now we can go to al-qurtubi we saw ibn kathir you will see that this is talking about yawm al-qiyamah in the resurrection day in yawm al-qiyamah the angels will be in the side of the sky and be in the, by the order of their god they will come to the earth and they will surround the earth and everybody inside and then they will come down as an army in one line and at, uh, at uh, 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 and the third sky and the fourth sky and the fifth sky and the seventh sky and the, seventh, uh, and the sixth sky and seventh sky those angels they will come from those skies and they will be all of them surrounding the earth and then what they will do those angels they will choose the people who deserve to go to heaven and who deserve to go to hell. And he will say, "In istatatum an tahrubu, bin al mauti fahrubu." If you can run, then from the death or the punishment is coming to you, run. But you will not be able to do so. No one can run away from the power of Allah in the judgment day. So Muslims cannot give any explanation except that this is in about the the the, the authority will happen to pass through the zone of the earth. Uh, to heaven or to hell is going to be only in the judgment day. This is Al Qurtubi. We showed you Abu Kathir. We can go to Al Tabari, and all of us we know that those are very big Islamic scholar. They are not my scholar. I'm not the one who is saying what they are saying. You know, you will see that this is again. This is Al Tabari. You know, he's saying this is Yom Al Qiyamah, in the Yom in the judgment day. This will be said to them, and then the Malaika will surround the earth. And then they will choose the one who will go to heaven and the one who will not go to heaven. So now the question again, if we go back to the English translation, <clears throat> Allah is challenging them to go and pass through the zone of heaven and the zone of earth. And he is challenging the genie, which means the Satan including. Now, we remember the surah before about you know, Satan was able to deceive Adam and his wife Eve in the heaven of Allah. So if Satan, he cannot go through to the heaven, how Satan, he was able to be there? How? Did Allah give him the authority? That surah, this surah showing us that no one have the authority to go to heaven except pe good people and only this will happen in the judgment day. Not now. Not now. 
and Satan for sure, even then, he will, never not, he will not be there because simply he's Satan. So how Muslims can explain to me that Satan, he was able to deceive Adam and Eve in the heaven when he is not there? We asked this question before. This surah has shown us that this is a lie. This cannot be true because Satan, he cannot be there. Now the second question, how American Russian was able to go out of the zone of sky and earth? By the way, in here it says zones of heavens. In Arabic, it says, Min aqtari samawat, which means sky, it's not heavens. Muslims translate it as heavens, because for them, sky is heaven. But in Arabic, it says samawat, which means skies, not heavens. The word heavens is not there. The word heaven in Arabic, it means jannah. This is samawat. If you see it in, in, the, in the text with me, this is, you see the mouse? This is a samawat. So he is saying, يا معشر الجن والإنس إن استطعتم أن تنفذوا من أقطار السماوات والأرض فانفذوا ولا تنفذون إلا بسلطان بسلطان. so you if you he's challenging them if you challenge he's challenging you know what do it if you can you know what you will never be able to do so without my authority and when this authority will happen in the judgment day as we showed you from the explanation of Islamic scholar according to their prophet so the question again how how uh, 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 Satan was able to go there and how American was able to go there and how uh, uh, Russian was able to go out of the zone of the earth out of the zone of the sky you know out in the space out in the space how this is very you know it, it's very easy to expose this lie and by the way the surah we mentioned before about Allah will shoot missiles to destroy the Satan if he tried to get it close to heaven proving to us that Satan he cannot go to heaven as we said but I, I want to add another question to that verse you know if Allah will shoot a star at the Satan to destroy him and Satan according to this verse he live in earth he live in earth as you see he cannot leave the earth genie and the human they live in earth not outside so if Allah will destroy the Satan by a star do you know how big is a star and do you know how small is the earth if a star get close to the earth, the earth will be burned, will be destroyed. The ocean will be flooding everything. How Allah will destroy a Satan by a star when the star is millions of times bigger than the earth? How? If the, to, to shoot a Satan who live in earth, it means you have to shoot the earth. And he is not using a pilot, he is using a star. A star. Use your imagination and use your brain. Thank you.